Hi, once again, all. It's Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, your favorite source for all things uh, softwood lumber, panel, manufacturing, sales, and of course, prices. Today is one of the most exciting days of the month as U.S. Housing Starts came out for May. And don't let the headlines fool you. It It's down compared to the month before a little bit which is sort of normal for the volatility, but it's up a lot compared to one year ago. So if you remember, last year at this time is when the um, limitations and restrictions of the COVID uh, on the economy and society hit. And so there was a big drop one year ago compared to you know the previous month or the previous year. And the recovery now that's demonstrated, it's the improvement is better than what the losses were last year, if you know what I'm saying. So let's go to the graphs and take a look. I put um, total and single family housing starts against my lumber prices. And then I put uh, total single family starts and total uh, single family permits against each other. So you can see what is the expectation. As I was saying before, uh, permits generally become starts two months later. So if May permits are showing something, then August starts will be reflected, which you find out in September. So that's why I always say, you know, the lumber prices are a really good leading indicator. As you can see on the graph, the housing activity follows the movement of the lumber prices. But I can tell you the lumber prices every week whereas the housing activity you find out like a month and a half later. So let's take a look, see what the data is telling us, and get some really good information for this midsummer when usually there's a lot of building activity, but the lumber prices, the lumber has already been sold, so the prices are starting to soften. Will they be softening into Labor Day? Nobody knows. We can only find out as those weeks happen. Okay, so very, very interesting and useful data. Uh, U.S. total housing starts, the black line, and one unit housing starts, uh, single family, the gray line. Uh, you can see how when the lumber prices went up to that record of $1,640 for Western Spruce, similarly, the following um, data for the U.S. housing that came out popped up and then corrected down just in the same trend as the lumber prices. So year over year, compared to one year ago, total starts in the U.S. is up 50%, and total permits is up 35%. Here we are looking at uh, single-family starts against single-family permits, right? So um, very closely matched, which lets you know that the permits that come out, what I was saying before, um, will be a start in a couple of months. It's looking pretty true, right? Similarly, following my lumber prices again. So the actual data shows uh, single-family starts were up 35%, and single-family permits were up 32% in May of 2021 compared to one year ago. So here's that lumber price I talk about, the Western Spruce Pine Fir. Um, which is included in the previous two graphs, just showing you the year over year. The yellow line last year in 2020 took quite a drop at the end of the year, but then sort of popped back up right away almost. Is it going to do that again? The blue line is this year. We don't know yet. Okay, great. So if you're looking for dependable, reputable, uh, very long-term uh, data uh, provider, uh, like Madison's to let you know um, what's happening right now with lumber prices and what will happen with um, housing uh, starts and permits. And we also do some updates when uh, home sales and home prices come out also against my lumber prices. Then subscribe to the actual data. Uh, go to my website, madisonsreport.com. Along the top there in the menu is a subscribe button. You can fill out a form. You get a sample of the entire 450 individual lumber and panel commodity prices for that week, as well as the commentary, which explains what happened with the market. Um, just the prices alone are not enough. You need to know the things that I talk about, order file, inventory, you know, log supply, weather, transportation, all of these things. 
And so um, the YouTubes that I do intermittently, it's just a, a small snapshot of the full data set. And um, there's still a lot of the summer to go. And the housing uh, market, I mean, this data is mixed, uh, mostly up, but um, looks like there's a bit of a slowdown to what was an extremely, extremely hot market um, for housing for this entire year, the past year. Um, and probably some, in, in, probably some ongoing support for uh, hot housing sales and increasing house prices. So we'll find that out over the coming months as it happens. But for now, that's it for the housing. My next update will be in a couple of weeks when the um, home sales and house price data in the US comes out. Do check back. You'll find out a lot more as time goes by.